Hey YouTube, I'm back at the garden, just got back from California and uh, figured I would stop by to see what's up. Unfortunately, I don't have my selfie stick, so I have to hold the camera like this. But I noticed a couple fun things. The spring is definitely coming. Um, specifically, actually I think I'll turn the camera around so you can see better. So of the currants, this one is doing by far the best. Um, although I noticed growth on all but one of them, and I think that one just hasn't woken up yet. So here's another current. This one's a little bit smaller, as you can see in the middle, but it's doing fine. That's the only one, this red light current. Um, it has some buds, so I think it's fine. It just hasn't woken up yet. But yeah, that current's doing, looking really well, looking really good. And uh, the raspberries here are waking up. A lot of fresh growth at the base. Um, the bunnies ate them back pretty hard. Actually, if you look, there's a lot of new ones. That, I don't know if they form from cuttings or the roots probably. So we should have quite a bit of raspberries this year. And uh, the exciting thing I was gonna show you is the asparagus is just starting to peak up. So here's a new asparagus stock. Um, there's another one over here that's coming up already. Got right behind there. So that's exciting to see. And the width of it looks pretty good. These were first year asparagus sprouts I planted last year. So this is a second year growth, which looks really healthy. I'm still not gonna eat it because it's so young and I want it to have a good growth. Other than that, I think things are still fairly dormant. Oh, I noticed that the rhubarb came back, which is nice because I thought that died last year. <laughs> so this is cool to see the rhubarb coming up. And it was also a small plant. It looks like maybe some black eye Susans um, self-seeded. I think that's what that is. And yeah, so other than that, we can maybe check on the prickly pear. This is the eastern prickly pear. Uh, it looks still pretty dormant. But I think it's still fine. It's very firm. So it's not rotted. This grapevine uh, does not look particularly healthy, does it? <laughs> well, I don't think it's dead. You can always check if a plant's dead by scratching. Well, that doesn't look very good, does it? There we go. If you look, there's some green. I could do more, but I don't want to expose it. So yeah, it's still alive, but doesn't look particularly good, I suppose. The comfrey looks like it's coming up. Yeah, this is comfrey. So that's exciting. Yeah, so a lot can change in just one week. Pretty exciting to see. If you want to see the garden. I added a lot of wood chips recently, so that's why <laughs> so many wood chips. More to add. I'm excited to see how this plum performs because it did not grow very much last year and when it started to grow it was quite late and then the Japanese beetles descended on it and ate it pretty bad. But there's a lot of good potential. So if you look right here there's quite a few buds and I think this year it may just explode with new growth. So I'm excited to see that. This pear tree is coming along nicely. You can see in the tips the buds are just about to burst open. That's nice to see. And the apple tree also looks nice. It's not quite so far along, but it has nice buds at the tips that will soon burst open. Okay, so there we go. And I noticed that the blueberry, which was severely eaten by rabbits, has a nice little, one little bud that's still on the stem. So hopefully I can grow blueberries here. Our soil is not very, easy. Or excuse me, our soil is not very acidic, so might have a little bit of a problem, but let's see. And the honeyberries also, I noticed, are doing well. So yeah, here's some honeyberries. They are sending out new leaves, so that's nice to see. There's still some stems that have no new growth yet, but as long as there's some new growth, then I think it should be fine. So looking good. All right, so that's a little quick update from the garden, and I'll keep you posted with uh, as the spring progresses.